Oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome back to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Let me stop playing, cause I'm a child of the Lord. Yo, what's good up in the hood? Ew. Um, if y'all are new here, my name is Kimono. I do makeup commentary and if COVID wasn't roaming around, vlogs. As you see in the title, I wanted to give my advice on people who are just going to college. Um, I went away for college, which I think is the best thing that I could have done for myself. I just wanted to do a video about um, like the do's and don'ts of college and then give little story times in between because there's always a reason why not to do something. But um, I do know that people might not be going back to school in the fall or like the incoming freshmen might not get to have like a campus 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 experience but i still feel like this is a relevant video because you're gonna go back eventually and you're, gonna, you're gonna need these tips sis or sir whoever is watching this you're gonna need these tips so um yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna tell y'all what what you should and shouldn't do based off of my experiences and some things that i saw my friends do that i was like i don't think so so um Let's get into this. Rule number one. Rule number one. Be careful who you choose as your roommate. Be very weird, we wary, weary, wary. I can't speak English. I say this because like there's a lot of factors when it comes to living with somebody that you've never lived lived with before. Um are they up late at night do they have a boyfriend will their boyfriend be staying over um do they go to sleep early are you a nighttime person are they an early time person there's a lot of factors in it and like i know a lot of colleges do make you sign like a roommate contract for like things like that but nobody nobody obliges by those at all like you sign and then it goes straight out the window like no i had four roommates I'm about to be a senior and I've had four roommates throughout my time at college and the first one was the absolute worst. The absolute worst out of all of them. Like I didn't like, I liked one of them. I only liked one of them, but out of all four of them, this one, this one girl takes the top. So I actually got the opportunity to meet her before college even started because we were in a program we had to we had to go to school earlier than everybody else so we were actually on campus for the summer before our freshman semester was supposed to start so you know i got to know her and she seemed like cool people she was very nice um she was always there for me when i needed her to be like we our communication was bombdiggity.com like it was fire um and i'm like oh so you do you want to be roommates and she was like, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, ah, right? So I'm like, okay, my first friend is about to be my roommate. 18 year old Kimono, you did so bad. Mm. Do I regret it? No, because every bad experience is a lesson in life, but oh my God. So the school year starts and um, everything was cool for that week. And then all of a sudden, she started to snore like a giant. I can't even, I, I can't even mimic it. My mom snores and she, I thought my mom snored bad. No, bro. She, when I tell you there were nights where I couldn't sleep, like I was up all night just because of her snoring, waiting for her to change position, position, positions. Like, cause you know, when you change positions, you stop snoring. I was waiting for her to change positions just so I could sleep all night long. And then it got to the point where I had to download an app and um, like one of those sleep sound apps. And I had to like put in my headphones and listen to like the raindrops. And I made a remix. I made a mix for myself. But I was tired of going to sleep with my headphones cause I didn't want them to break. I'm like, I need to talk to her. 
And, you know, I told her, you know, you snore or whatever, whatever, and I can't sleep, and I kind of need sleep to function. And I didn't say it in no, no, what is it called? And I didn't come with no static. I was just like, I'm telling you what it is. And she got very defensive. Like, I don't snore. I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, are you awake when you're, when you're asleep? Do you, do you know that you snore? No, you don't. So then I recorded her sleeping one time when she was snoring really loudly and I showed her and she was just like, oh, um, are you sure that's me? Th it's not me. So I'm like, oh, like, you know, is there anything you could do like sleep on a different position? You know, I don't know if those nose strip thingies work. She didn't try. I still wasn't sleeping. And then, um, what happened? After that, like, our relationship kind of went downhill because, like, I wasn't getting sleep and she wasn't doing anything about it. So she didn't have a lot of stuff, but she was kind of messy. And one thing I didn't appreciate was that she used to leave her laundry basket in the middle of our room. And one time I brought friends over and when I opened the door, her basket was in the middle of the room per usual. And on top of it was a blood-stained panty and I was so embarrassed because all my friends saw that and I'm just like this is like the last straw so we kind of just started to stop talking and then this was my breaking point because I I told her she wasn't a virgin I was so I already knew she was gonna she was gonna be doing things with guys and um, I told her, if you're going to have like a sneaky link, you know, tell me an hour or two in advance. Because I'm usually out. I was usually out of my room until like 1, 2, depending on what I was doing with my friends. I was out till late. So I'm like, if you're going to have a sneaky link, you know, tell me. Tell me if you're out in the room so I don't come back. You know, tell me how long y'all going to be because I need to come back to my room and sleep. And um, she was like, yeah, sure. No problem. This was before we had issues. And... Um, what happened it was around like two she comes in the room and I'm about to go to sleep like I'm half towards falling asleep I'm like okay god damn I need to fall asleep quick before this bitch falls asleep then I hear a guy's then I hear a guy's voice and they're both whispering I'm like no no we're not having it mm -mm. I bind it up in the name of Jesus we're not having it so he, I hear him say like, oh, yo, is she asleep? Yeah, she's asleep. Da, 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 da. Like they were about to have sex with me in the room. Hell no. Mm -mm. So y'all know what I did? Cause I'm trifling. Um, when I heard like the bed, the bed is like springs. So you can hear when someone gets on the bed. So when I heard them get on the bed, I, turn I tossed a little bit I did a little cough <laughs> and um I had a water next to my bed and I started drinking water and then I kind of stood up and I'm like coughing y'all thought y'all were having sex with me in the room hell no I hate people like that because my friends have had people have sex with them in the room and I'm just like Y'all can really just like smash in the bathroom. Y'all don't need a bed. Like, why? Cause we lived in like a suite type of thing. Like imagine an apartment without a kitchen. That's what our, 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 our space looked like. You could really go in the bathroom and have sex. Go in the shower. Yeah, like the living room. Ew, but the couch is. But still like, I don't remember if I confronted her about it, but I remember after that I completely stopped talking to her because that's I found that to be mad disrespectful that you would even consider having sex with me in the room. And the tension was too much. And I came back one day, this was like early October, and her stuff was gone. And I was like, God, this is why you're my man. This is why you're my man. I had my own room for the rest of the semester. And it was just, it was peace and quiet from there. Uh, God bless. But yeah, 
moral of the story is be careful when you choose your roommate um make sure y'all stick to the rules that you have because we made rules and they went straight out the window so yeah just like if you're going if you're going to college and like you know like a friend who's going there as well i recommend you living with them because living with strangers ain't it at all I wish I knew that it was okay to go to community college because it's actually a lot cheaper. Like, yes, you would be sacrificing like having a four year bond with friends, but um, that's, eh, it depends on, depends on who you talk to, if that's important or not. For me, not really, because all the people I was with the first two years were not even friends anymore. Um, besides the guys, all the girls I was friends with were not even, they, we all block each other. No, they blocked me. I don't block anybody. I want to, I want you to see me flourish. I'm not blocking you. <laughs> it's actually a lot cheaper to go to community college and then go to a state school or I would not go to a private school. I wanted to go to Howard so badly, not, not 60 K a year and not with no scholarships. It's between two and $6,000, but that's a lot cheaper than paying $25,000 a year for a state school and then 50K, 60K, 70K. I still can't believe I wanted to go to NYU. What? <laughs> I'm so glad I didn't because it was, that was my, NYU was my dream school because it was like, I'll be going away, but I'm also in the city. So if I wanted to go see my mom, I'm like a train wide, train, train wide. Train ride away I wish I knew is that it's okay to switch schools it is perfectly fine it's perfectly fine to leave your friends they will still be there and if they're really your friends y'all will still be in contact in some way or another whether it be streaks or y'all texting y'all will still be in contact I was actually supposed to leave my school a couple times because my mom didn't like my mom didn't like it and she didn't like how like she called them one time and they spoke to her. They're always they're always giving you problems with your financial aid, but I think that's just every school, to be honest. Like they're always f***ing up your financial aid. Like they were saying that she made like a certain amount of money and my mom's like, where did you get this from? It's, it's okay to leave, whether it be like you were, your grades might not be as well as you want them to be. The school is too hard. Like my school is so difficult. Um, I go to Stony Brook University. That school is, they call themselves the public, public Ivy League. And their courses are so hard and their, like their science courses are built for you to fail. Like I have friends who, you're only allowed to take, retake a course, I believe it's once. So you, you're only allowed to take the course twice, basically. And I had friends who had to put in petitions in order to retake a course for a third time because they failed it twice. But you go to a community college and you will, community co any other college, you could get a B or A. My school, a C is considered an A, as long as you pass. Like there's, like there's a lot of kids who strive for A's, but I have a good, a good, good group of friends. Like if we get C's, we're like, listen, C's get degrees, but now when it comes to med school, if even if it's your dream school and like things aren't working out the way you want them to be, it's okay to leave. Please, I can't, I can't, I can't stress this enough. Put yourself out there. Join clubs. Join a frat. Join a sorority. Go be in a fashion show. Be in a pageant. Do everything, and. Like, even if you're a shy person, like, do, like, do something, bro. Do, like, just be active on campus. And I say this because my freshman year, I was, I wanted to do a lot. And I was, I'm not gonna say I was shy, but I just didn't want to do it alone. So, like, I wanted to be in, I wanted to be in the Caribbean Club's fashion show. I didn't, I didn't go to trials because my friends weren't, my friends didn't want to go with me. I wanted to be in the lingerie scene for the fashion show, which is a whole different um, 
a whole different uh, thing thing, a whole different audition. Um, and they they didn't want to go with me. One of my friends was like, oh, they call they call the girls who do that sluts. You're a freshman like me. How would you know this? And key word, they call the girls who do the sluts. So you're being misogynistic. There was a lot I wanted to do and I didn't get to because I was holding myself back because my friends didn't want to do with me. There's like a couple of sorority things I wanted to go to. I didn't go because like informationals because my friends wouldn't come with me. There was, there was a lot I wanted to do my freshman year and I didn't get to, but I made up for it my sophomore year. Um, I ended up joining two clubs. One of those clubs, um, one of those clubs I don't even count because they basically disrespected me. You know, I made a lot of new friends, like being active on campus, it helps you make a lot of friends. Going to clubs that you enjoy, like I went to the boxing club. I wanted to do the archery club, but their, their time, like, the time where they meet was um, was conflicting with the class that I had, so I didn't get to go. Um, yeah, just get out there, bro. Like, it'll help you make a lot of friends and just enjoy yourself. You're only in college for four years. Like, I'm a senior. And I'm like, where did the time go? <laughs> where did the time? And I might not. We might not even be going back next semester. And if we do, we we basically are stuck in our rooms which just let me stay home like oh, i'm so sad that might have been my last homecoming are you dead ass mm. damn the last thing i want to say is um be careful who you mess with on campus whether it be sexual or whatever wise because people talk. People love to talk. People love drama. They love to gossip. Like, them love for chat. Um, and I say this because I, I do, yes, I do hang out with guys. And by hanging out with guys, I see how they operate. And yes, they are my friends, but some of them are trash. <laughs> like, to girls, they're trash. Love them to death, but they're still trash. One of, one of these guys is my friends. The other one is not. The one that the other one I, I don't I didn't know him um so apparently they were we we're all hanging out together they were I don't know if they were on snap or they they're on they're on something either Instagram or snap and then one of them was like one of them was like yo bro I just smashed this the other day and he was like he was like what and I, I don't I don't know what day it was but we'll say Thursday bro you smashed this on Thursday yeah, bro. So did I. We started going into like days when they would f her, and then they found out that they were actually f her on the same day. And I'm just like, well, listen, sis, get your dick. I'm not even, I'm not even mad at it. But it's the fact that these guys became friends, so now they're trash talking to her and calling her this, that, and their la di da. And I'm just like, yeah. No, don't do that, guys. Nah, bro, she a whole tree. Da 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 da. And I'm like, why should you get her dick? Y'all be f bitches on like twice on the same day. Yeah, no, just just be careful who you do what with on campus, cause guys talk, girls talk. I've heard a lot of things about people's dicks, <sighs> like especially from a lot of guys who think they're like they're hot shit. No, you got multiple sources. You got. The shrimp. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching my video. Um, I hope you guys learned something and I hope you like genuinely like take the, what I said to heart and take my experiences and learn from them because I definitely did. Like, comment, subscribe share to all your little freshman frenzies. Thank y'all for watching and I will catch y'all in the next video.